Today I got an older Asus laptop, 17.3 inch. I'm going to do some disassembly and upgrading. I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, what's up? Dale here. Today I have an older Asus uh, laptop. It's a 17.3 inch model. Um, it's got a fourth generation Core i7 CPU, uh, has eight gigs of DDR3L memory, a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. It's pretty slow. Um, it's not super slow, but it got a slow boot time. A little while you gotta wait once it boots up before you can start using it. So <clears throat> customer just wants me to get this set up. He wants it as a backup computer. He has no important data on here he cares about and the few apps that he's got, he's just simply gonna reinstall. Now you could clone if you want, that's totally up to you, but in this case, customer said it was okay, just go ahead and do a clean install. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the one terabyte hard drive that's in here and replace it with a brand new Western Digital Blue SATA SSD, a one terabyte. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, take out the eight gigs of DDR3L. There are two slots and I'm gonna replace that with a match set, a kit, a 16 gig kit of uh, DDR3L1600, two eights. So that's what I'm gonna do. So basically I'm just gonna shut it off and get right into it. I'm gonna move kinda of quick here guys cause I'm a little behind today. So hopefully I don't skip anything that you wanted to see or know. So once it shuts down, I'll flip it over it's very clean, he's taken very good care of it. He has several other computers that he uses, but this one he just wants for a backup and to do maybe some basic stuff on. <clears throat> as soon as the light goes off there. Nanny day, there we go, it's off. So, I'm gonna flip it over. I've already removed all the screws. The four screws are along the front are real short. They're all the same, all the rest of the screws are the same length, so just keep them separated. And the optical drive is going to stay in there for right now. Um, so having taken out all the screws, I'm just going to get my spudger tool here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But anyway, going <laughs> to get my spudger tool here. Little plastic blue triangle, I call it. You can get them online. I'll have a link down below where you can buy a bag of these for about five bucks. <clears throat> they work really well. They're nice and stiff. So I'm going to get right in a seam along where the silver meets the, the black or the charcoal there. Be very careful where you stick it in at to get started here. These generally come up, come loose pretty easy, but the bottom's not going to just yank off. We have to get it started because a palm rest is going to detach from the top side. And these older ones, they're just kind of like that. So just like to get it started along the edge here. Where I start yanking and ripping. All right, just like I said, double check, make sure you got all your screws removed. <clears throat> you can see how it's lifting up already. Now, what's going to happen? It already popped all the way up. There's three cables in here we have to disconnect, those little ribbon cables that are attached to the motherboard, so don't just be yanking it off. It's going to be hard for you to see this probably, but inside there, you got one over here for your power switch. Out there, just pulled right out. Don't really want to do that, but that's okay. One here for the touchpad, one here for your keyboard. So, seeing as that one just pulled out, that'll be okay though. I'm going to flip the little lever they have up here. Now the keyboard one, it's got, it slides back, the two little white clips carefully. Same time, just it snaps back and that comes right out. So that's, that's it on the palm rest. You can see keyboard, touchpad, power switch, kind of mangled from the factory, but we're not going to try to untwist it, it might damage it, so I'll just leave that the way it is. <clears throat> so we're going to get that out of the way. Here's the hard drive we're going to replace. Now to get this out, it's easy as just to flip up this little lever right here, if you can see it. We're going to flip this up, disconnect our cable here, got some adhesive there. 
and then there's four screws one two three four we have to remove to slide it back and then take the hard drive out of the two mounting rails and put our new SATA SSD in there and the motherboard the, the two it has two RAM slots they're underneath the motherboard here very made it very difficult to get to so we got to detach a bunch of things from the motherboard and there's about if I remember right around 15 16 screws we have to take out to get the main board out uh, one that is easily missed though is right down here by the SD card slot there's one screw here you have to make sure you get that that one out it's a little short one all the rest of these screws are going to be the same same length okay but they are somewhat marked just maybe take a picture with your smartphone of where all the screw so you can see all the screw locations but all fails or you can mark them with a the little black sharpie if you want if you're not sure but again they kind of there aren't any extra empty holes so shouldn't be too hard to get them all back in so first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this hard drive because that has to go it's attached to the motherboard oops <laughs> wrong screw Dale gonna take those four screws out here for the hard drive caddy A lot of disassembly just to put in <coughs> extra memory but that's what we have to do and then we should just fail slide that back come on and it kind of wiggles right out <coughs> and we'll take these rails off and mount them on the new SATA SSD once we get to that point but first I want to get that RAM in there because that's going to take the longest so I'm going to start here and go around the board and start disconnecting what I need to this is our little IO board for our optical drive we're going to flip that up get that disconnected uh, we got to come over here and disconnect this little guy Boy, some of these cables are a pain just gonna remove that. Believe. Ah. Ah. I'm going, going kind of quick here, guys. But sorry. Some of these take a little jiggling to get these connectors loose. Just be patient. In a second here. Now I should have said as I do in all my videos before you started make sure you're anti-static my bench tops my floors are all anti-static 100 percent never had a problem in 25 plus years so I'm not worried about it so get that out of the way but before I go any further though I am gonna just and you probably should do this first guys before you start taking out screws in case you drop one on the main board this is the battery it plugs in here on the bottom side of the motherboard but it is it comes out pretty easy easier than going back in so we're going to remove that battery connector right there it's this main one you can see how it goes right to the battery there okay so I'm just going to pull that out just like that all right um, then our Wi-Fi card is underneath the motherboard as well the antenna wires are connected I'm going to see if I can get this out and lift it up get the memory out and in without disconnecting those antenna wires because they're always a pain to get back on see what I can do to finagle that out of there and of course over here is the got to be very careful this is our um, LCD connector over here on the main board there is a piece of tape securing it down so carefully lift up that tape just like that and it should pull straight back just like that don't undo anything you don't have to but um, like I said this little screw down here for the SD card slot it's right down on the bottom here you can't see it but you'll see it if you open up your laptop just get that out of the way it's the only one that's that tiny all the rest of these screws that we have to take out are, are going to be the same So I'm just going to start right here and start taking out screws. Try not to drop my motherboard even though you disconnected your mat your battery, guys. 
Well, it's the same as the other screws, so maybe I do. Yep, eh, well, I'm a knucklehead. I didn't think that was like that, but anyway. So you can see I'm trying to wrangle this out of here by keeping my Wi-Fi antennas. They're probably gonna pop off, but that's all right. And down here is our RAM. So I'm gonna carefully peel this back. And I'm gonna wrestle this in here carefully. Gotta pop out these two sticks of RAM. Take our new RAM. DDR3L 1600 guys is what I'm using. And it only goes in one way. Put the bottom one in first. Just make sure you get a good clean snap because you don't want to have to do this twice. <laughs> Been there, done that. Get in a hurry and that means seated right. Just give it a little jiggle there. All right. Now, see. Let's see if I can get those. Get that tape back up there. That wraps around like that. It's just there's a little heat vent down underneath there. need three hands get our VGA connector out of there all right <clears throat> now you just got to make sure all your connectors are on top where you can reach them hook everything back up before you go too far though I'm gonna see if I can get that battery connector in there those are not easy you just kind of yeah, I think I'll be able to get that. I don't really want a connector right now because I got to put all those screws back in in case I drop one or something. But it, it's a it's a hard fit. It goes underneath the board, but you just got to kind of take your time and be patient. It'll it'll go, but don't force it. All right, let's get this one back in over here for the fan. So I'm counting the fan there. I think there's 17 screws. I don't really count them. All right, last screw right here. Then I'm gonna got two cables to hook up. Get this stuff out of the way. Gonna need that. Okay, everything stayed in good. Just wanna make sure that goes in all the way. I believe that's the speakers. This one here is for the charging port over here. This one that connects on the bottom side of the board. That didn't come out though, so that's good. Now the battery. It's already bent the right way, so let's just see. Pretty much keep it right flush the bottom. Hey, it went right in good. All right, push it back down on the little tunnel I have here for it. Now the battery's connected, so be careful. If you're doing this at home, now I'm going to take this little guy, and we're just going to take the mounting rails off the side. You know, I lay that screwdriver down a million times a day. Actually, I'm going to go to a number one Phillips. Get a little better bite. Good Lord. All right, I don't got time for this nonsense. Get 
Yeah, it's not a drill, it's a cordless screwdriver, so don't yell at me in the comments for using a drill. This is a medial hard drive and it's not gonna hurt it a bit. Let's just go ahead and put that back on there. They were torqued down there pretty good, so. Actually hooking those ribbon cables back up off the palm rest there, kind of a challenge. My helper's not here to hold things for me, so I'm on my own. Just taking the two Phillips screws out of this, these mounting rails. All right. So we don't need that clunky old thing anymore. Boy, I hate hard drives. They're just so slow. Even on a fast computer, they're slow, if that makes any sense. Find the hole, Dale. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be interrupted here, guys. Sorry. What can I do for you? The next, next one over. No problem. Well, it happens about a thousand times a day. The UPS store is right next to me, and for some reason, all my lighted signs in the windows that say computers and laptops and service and repair, people think it's a UPS store, but whatever. All right, Dale. There, slides right back in. Now we gotta put the four little four corner screws in there for the, screw the mounting rails down. And again, a reminder, don't be dropping screws on there while you got that battery hooked up. I should get a referral fee from the UPS store for all the people I send next door. <laughs> I'm telling you. People are carrying big old boxes and whatnot. They don't look up. Just grab the first door they come to. All right. So that's that. All right. I'm going to hook this little guy back up. Again, these little levers just kind of flip up. Be careful flipping those up. If you go too far, you'll break them right off. And that's not good because you're gonna be stuck all right that's good there it's got all screws battery Wi-Fi speakers charging port our little USB IO port cable over here and a little piece of mr. tape back on here not that it really does any good but I'll put it on there anyway somebody would have noticed that and left a comment Okay, um, doesn't look too bad. I'll blow it out from the other side. All right, Mr. Palm Rest. Make sure that battery's good, those cables. So I'm gonna have to kind of do a, because they don't give you much room on these, so you're gonna have to bear with me, guys. While I'm hooking these up, I'm gonna grunt and groan a lot here, so they don't give you hardly any slack whatsoever on this one for the power switch. Pretty much just enough to get you there and I just had it but it pulled out on me while I was getting my third hand out. Ah, these are a pain in the butt. <sighs> kind of shooting in the dark here. All right, push the lever down. I just don't like you have to take these back apart and do it twice. It's a pain. Mm, I'll do Mr. Keyboard last but Come on, I just had you up there. Ah, dirty bugger.
Things always manage to go back down when you don't want them to. The little levers. I end up pulling one of these back out. Just want to make sure it's in all the way. All right. Now on the keyboard one, no, you can't see it, but it, it's going to go in on top. There's a top and a bottom. So make sure your little white levers are pushed back as far as they can. This slide, this will slide in over top. And then you're going to lock them in on the side. You have to be kind of ambidextrous to do some of this stuff sometimes. So anything coming out? All right, that's, oh, I yeah, like this one over here. Ugh. That's <laughs> one I didn't want to come out. Well, it didn't come out, but it was crooked. Not anymore. Boom, 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 boom. All right, drop her down. Now, before I button it all the way up, though, of course, I am going to power it on. Got the battery pretty much all charged up. Now, this does have a brand new battery in it, by the way. The customer put that in not too long ago, he said. He had it in, mounted, but he didn't have the cable plugged in. He did the little slippy underneath. Couldn't understand why the battery was not recognized, not charging. So, that's about as far as I'm going to go, buttoning it up. I just want to make sure it's going to power on and all that fun stuff. If not, we'll open it back up. So, I'll put in my flash drive my USB Windows 10 installation drive <clears throat> and it's going right to the BIOS which is fine let's see oh I should have had that in first let me shut it back off I'll turn it back on sometimes it defaults right to the flash drive but otherwise we gotta go into the BIOS on these older ASUS a little finicky sometimes you can choose that boot override option they have in the BIOS and choose your flash drive. It's breathing, I can hear it. Yeah, I should have looked and checked that RAM. Hey, we got a circle. All right, it's booting off our flash drive now. We're going to whip through this Windows install. Mouse touchpad works, so that's good. Power switch works, so that's good. Yay. Five stars for Dale. All right, I don't have a product key. Don't need that. This unit actually came originally with Windows 8 on it, so it's going to activate just fine because they did have, it's already got a Windows 10 digital license. Windows 10 Home it was. And here you can't go, oh, I'll get Windows 10 Pro. That ain't going to work because the digital license is for Windows 10 Home from, you know, the previous install. So, accept the license terms. I'm going to choose custom. There's our one terabyte. Say to SSD, I'll hit next, and we'll let the install get going. Um, I'm going to pause here for a second, guys. I'll let this get almost to the end, then we'll go inside real quick or go into Windows and just make sure all of our upgrades are the way and the place they're supposed to be. So I'll be back in just a minute. And in here, put touch your Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. All right, guys, we got through the file copy process, so now we're just going to walk it through the quick setup here, getting into Windows, United States. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> yes. It should only take a minute. U.S. keyboard layout. You can add layouts later. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. 
My bad. I meant to hit skip, sorry. I was going to add Arabic, but... Uh, I always skip the internet connection process here. That way I'm not forced to set up a Microsoft account and all that. You can always do that later. Right now I'm just going to choose limited setup. It's no big deal. You're not missing out on anything. Just going to put user. No password. I let customers do that. I always just save all this garbly goop. Oh, touchpad's not installed yet. Two finger scroll doesn't work. Uh, do, do, do. <sighs> Come on, Dale. Except hey. not now. Can take your flash drive out after it reboots the first time from copying the files over, by the way. So we're gonna send these back to the customer. His old RAM. Thought I had one eight in there, but I guess I was wrong. I had two fours. Um, his old hard drive. I'm sure he ain't gonna really want that, but it says he's getting it back. Customer mailed this in from Pennsylvania and wanted some upgrades. Saw me on YouTube. Was didn't want to tackle it himself. A lot of people do that. Get it done. Mail it back and. Don't have to worry about doing any damage. If I do any damage, that's my problem. I like getting the mail in. They're always something different than my daily grind stuff. SSD upgrades, straight up clones, and that's it. But like the solar stuff is kind of fun to do sometimes. The newer stuff is pretty darn easy. At least for me it is. I just want to get into Windows real quick here, guys. I don't mean to bore you with this, so we should be there in a minute or a few seconds. Almost there. No, the camera angle is probably not the greatest, but okay, we don't care about drivers or internet or any of that stuff right now. Basically, I'm just going to go into Task Manager. <clears throat> More details. Performance tab. Memory, there's our 16 gigs of DDR3 showing there. 1600 megahertz, two of two slots used. So we're good there. Just open up the File Explorer. And there's our one terabyte Western, oop, Western Digital Heart, or <laughs> SATA SSD. Bad deal. Optical drive, of course. So we're good. We got a good clean install. Now I just got to get a bunch of, there will be a lot of, driver updates. Uh, if Windows 10 doesn't take care of it, um, I'll just go to Asus website, but more likely than not, there won't even be any Windows 10 drivers for this being the fourth gen. I'll probably stop at Windows 8, but um, everything went good. So yeah, I appreciate the customer mailing this in and putting his faith in me. Uh, y'all can do the same if you want. Just get a hold of me. And I appreciate y'all watching. If you like it, give me a like. If you really liked it, you can sub. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Have a super day.